Ladies and gents, welcome back to another gear video. Today I've got for you here the Platatac VM vehicle mounted chest rig. For disclosure to start with, they did send me this for reviewing, so just letting you know that before we begin. Now this is the first chest rig I've acquired in some time. Not normally something I go for purely because I like having the back panel of a plate carrier to attach a hydration to and I just find that a bit easier. So like the fact that you can run a plate carrier with slick sides and keep keep any large pouches off your side because I tend to run a belt rig uh, with with my pistol. But Platatac contacted me and they're like, you know, do you want to look at some stuff? And uh, and they're kind enough to put this in the in the package. I've tried it out. I've given it a little bit of a run out. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad they did because it's, uh, it's an impressive piece of gear. That's for sure. There's a lot of features. So let's just dive on into them straight away. Front dead center. We've got a split front design to this. So we've got a real heavy, chunky YKK zip. Plastic, not metal, which is definitely preferable. It goes top down, so gravity is always keeping that down. It's not going to slide down on you when you're running around. Just so much quicker and easier to be able to get it on and off with that on there. Absolutely huge fan of that. I will almost never buy a chest rigs personally unless it has that split front pouches we've got four double 556 30 round mag pouches so that's eight magazines in total that you can carry and then on each of those you've got a smaller pocket on the front with hook and loop so on each of the mag pouches you've got a webbing tab here hook and loop closure and then three of them have side release buckle closure and then this one here center on the left hand side of the chest uh, just has the hook and loop you got elastic retention, so if you just want to use the one mag instead of cramming two in there, it'll hold onto those quite nicely as well. One of my very few downsides to this is I kind of wish this tab was a little bit longer, just a bit easier to grab when you've got gloves or when your hands are cold or that sort of thing, but it's not been a massive deal in my experience using the rig. As I say, the other three have got side release buckles, so you can see that here. If you want to use those, you can add that extra level of security for your magazines. What I've done is because you've got these extra optional male buckles for attachment and actually mounting the chest rig, I've disabled a couple of the pouches buckles by just flipping those around on themselves and doing that. But you can equally very easily just cut those off, unpick the webbing, get rid of those. Uh, if you don't want it, if you just want the hook and loop, then you can get rid of that side release and, and speed up your, your reloads a little bit there. Again, each, each of the four pouches has these smaller, small pouches on the front. Uh, what I've done with the, with the buckles I disabled is just tuck those in there. Uh, later, I'll probably just delete these entirely, just unstitch them, take them out. And you've got a reasonable amount of space in each of those pouches. They're a bit quite deceptive, to be honest. So, you know, you've got a lot of carrying capacity in here if you want it, just straight out of the box, you know, the good thing about these old school rigs is you just buy it. You don't have to buy loads of PALS pouches. Um, and they because they're all stitched together rather than PALS, they will just sit really flat, close, low profile, nice and neat and tidy. Again, webbing tabs on there. You can see the bar tacking on there, hopefully. Every single bit of webbing, huge bar tacks. Like they went overboard on the stitching on this thing. It's not made in Australia as far as I can tell. It, it's, uh, it's imported. But there is no doubts in my mind about the quality of the stitching. It's high stitch per inch. It's all pretty neat throughout. There's the odd, very minor area where it's not super perfectly neat. But there is no compromising on the actual strength, the structural integrity of all the parts, all the pieces. Again, as I say, you can look at every bar tack that they've got on all these different areas. Um, where their shoulder straps attach to the body of the rig itself it's just super heavy duty bar tack and they've gone over everything you know at, at least twice where it needs it and then there's there's a tons of bar tacks all over the shop or there's cross stitches such as on these side pouches here so everything's mirrored apart from that lack of a uh, side release buckle on that one pouch and then to either side left and right these will be tucked around your sides you've got large radio slash water bottle pouches so these have got again side release buckles smaller this time and zips all the zips with paracord pulls all color match for it everything's very nicely done and inside of these you've got 
some elastic retention up here. You've got a separate dividing pouch for holding things like radios. And then you've got a shingle type setup, which is adjustable via hook and loop. And there's loads of space down in there for storing up to a litre size water flask. And as I say, large radios, large medical kits, you can fit a lot in there. And then on the front of that, again, another pocket, zips and paracord, batteries, GPSs, knives, more med kit, survival kit, you name it. Plenty of room in there. Round to the back. These actually comprise pockets, storage pockets for maps, documents, etc. But they do work quite nicely and they are some, somewhat a spacer mesh. So they help with, with airflow and the breathability and, and just general comfort. Hook and loop closure on each one. You get in there. Again, plenty more storage capacity. You can see like along the bottom of these, they've double stitched. Not to forget, you got PALS webbing on the sides, inside and outside, inboard, outboard of your flask slash radio pouches and they got heavy bar tacks down the middle of the sewing for those back strap can be removed both sides i've got it obviously tightened down for my size cinched down and i've just wrapped it up old school style with green tape itw nexus polymer hardware on these there's a couple of different attachment options for these uh, for the complete chest rig the great thing about it is because it uses these Quasim style one inch side release buckles. You can take the shoulder harness off completely. You can attach it to various plate carriers that Platatac also make. You can attach it to a backpack on the back, uh, different types of harnesses. There is an absolute ton of modularity in terms of mounting the thing. And obviously you've got the same buckles on the sides. And uh, I've buried them under tape, but again on the 45 degree shoulder straps, same same spec buckles. So you've got a ton of modularity and attachment. Now the overall construction is 500D. The overall weight is around 850 grams, which for a rig of this capacity with this much stitching and this much extra uh, binding tape on the edges, all that sort of stuff, I think is very good. It's, uh, it's really surprisingly light. I've also got the optional grenade pouches on here. As I mentioned, you've got inboard pals on the flask pockets. Hopefully you can see that there. You can completely remove those if you don't want them, but it's an option on the website. And that's that's sized for a frag grenade. Side release buckle closure on that. But you can obviously store lots of other things in there and then we've got that pals there for any size of pouch pocket you want. A couple of last things to mention then are the drainage, sewn in drainage holes on the bottom of all the mag pouches there and on the bottoms of the radio pouches and the these smaller pouches on the front of all of those, everything's got those, so everything will drain nicely should it be submersed. The shoulder pads on the harness that you, can, uh, that you can pick up, very slightly padded, not a massive amount, good width to them though. Would have maybe nice to see some spacer mesh, but if you're wearing this over armor, which you probably are uh, for, for the contractors and military guys, then that's really not gonna matter. Elastic retention loops for comms cables, hydro cables, Adjustable in the back here, hook and loop. Other routing points, again, you've got one wrap on the back there for more cables and, and uh, hydro tubes. And obviously, as you can, as you'd expect, very large, uh, wide ranges of adjustment via the extra straps with your tri-glides on the shoulder harness. So as you can see, there's a lot to this rig. Uh, costs about 200 Australian dollars which once you convert it at the moment, especially at the time of filming is very, very reasonable for what you're getting. I will of course link down in the video description below so you can check this out. Uh, I'll also link to all my own social media where I cover lots more tactical kit like this. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, I'm on there all the time, much more than I am YouTube. So check those out. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more of these videos. And apart from that, thanks for coming along guys. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.